Hi everyone, Anthony Moriganti here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new AI masking features found in the latest version of On One Photo Raw. That's On One Photo Raw 2023. We're going to be working on this image. And before I get into those new AI masking features of the effects module, I want to replace the sky in this image. So I'm going to go to the sky module. I'm going to go to categories and I'm going to choose an Ocadrone blue velvet category. And there's a number of them here to choose from, but I'm going to go right with this one. I kind of like this look. But overall, for the image, I want to give it the effect that it was a long exposure shot. So, because if it was shot with a long exposure, the sky would be blurred and the water would be blurred as well. So, I'm going to blur that sky. We're going to go right here to blur amount and we'll move this to the right and just give it some blur so it looks like there's been some long exposure kind of motion to the clouds there. So that's good. Now, I could add a reflection, but because there's that chop in that water, that reflection doesn't really matter um, because of the chop, and I'm going to smooth it out anyway, so you won't be able to really see any reflection on the smoothed water from a long exposure shot. So I could come back and add it later, though, if I feel like I should. So let's go to the effects, and now I want to just target that water with an AI mask that will only work on that water and blur the water. So to do that, we're going to click on Add Filter. And over here on the left, you'll see that you could target this, whatever adjustment I use, to just the mountains, the sky, the water, the natural ground, the flora, which is the tree in that bush, architecture, which is that kind of miniature lighthouse, or everything for that matter. So in this case, as I mentioned, we want to do the water. And because we're doing the water and I want it blurred, I'll click on blur. Now, there's a number of different types of blur we could use. We have the normal blur, a radial blur, a motion blur. A uh, motion blur or surface blur would probably work. Let's go with motion blur. And we could go to the distance. We can move some of the sliders around. But you could see how that's affecting the bush here and the edge of the lighthouse over here. See that? And then giving it an adverse effect, isn't it? So, but we want it blurred. So we'll move that. See what smoothing might do. Smoothing just doesn't look right. So we'll pull that down a little bit. So what we have here is we have the water blurred so that it looks all right, but we have this kind of blurring of the bush, the edge of the lighthouse in this tree over here, even this park bench over here. So what we need to do is modify this AI mask. And to do that, click right on the mask, then go over here and get the mask brush. It should automatically have chosen the mask brush when you clicked on the mask itself. We want to paint out. So go up here and click on paint out and then come in here and just kind of get the edges of this bush. Now I'm getting kind of sloppy about it because I'm kind of going quickly. You see, it doesn't look too bad even with the water behind it getting unblurred as well, but it looks kind of natural. We'll come in here and do it here as well. And we'll do this tree, this willow tree back in here so that it looks better. Now you could even leave it a little bit blurred uh, because if you're doing a long exposure and there was some wind, uh, conceivably that bush in the tree would move, although it wouldn't be around the lighthouse, would it? So we'll get a smaller brush, use the left bracket key, right bracket key makes it larger. You come in here and try to fix up this bench. Now I'm going very quickly, so it's not going to look as good as if I took my time and did this the right way, but you really got to kind of get your nose close to this. And make sure that you're doing it properly, including like around this lighthouse, a little messed up, a little around that bush, but you could do much better. But this is obviously something that you can do. It's just going to take a little work. Well, there you go. Now, if I felt I wanted that reflection on that water, I could jump back to the sky module itself and I could then go down here and click on reflection and see what it does. Maybe not that strong. You pull the amount down a little bit, but you could always add it. All right, let's go back to the effects. I want to do something with the grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new filter and we want to go to the natural ground. You can see we get the red overlay when I hover over natural ground. When I click on it, it turns to that overlay there. We're missing some of the grass in here. But what I'm going to do might not really matter for in here, but I could always 
go to the mask and add to it if I need to. What I'm going to do here is get a color enhancer. And then with the color enhancer, I'm going to go to the yellow. And with the yellow, I am going to make it brighter. And I'm going to increase saturation, maybe not that much, just a little bit. And I'm going to go to green. And with green, I'm going to make it darker. I'm just adding a little more tonal variance in the grass here. And you can see over in here where it missed, it really doesn't look bad. It looks fine. So that looks pretty good. Now, what do I want to do? I want to add some detail to the actual um, faux lighthouse um, because I believe that's just for decoration. It's not a true lighthouse, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. We're going to go to the architecture. I'll click that so that's there. And then we're going to add dynamic contrast to it. And there, we'll add some small. You can see how we're making it look sharper. It's pretty cool. And that's it. That's uh, our image. Let me give you a before after. There's before. See, it was a little crooked. I straightened it before we got on the program here. And there's after. Before, after. So that's it. That's how you could go about using this AI masking that is in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2023 to enhance your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>